guys, it's my Irish style. Back home, a in Australia. I was just coming back from the United States from WPPI, which is really awesome. Lots of amazing images there. Um, if you guys are strawberries, you definitely should visit uh, the awards winning websites. Today, we are going to talk about how to come back the midday sun with uh, Goldox lights. Yeah? So, it is what time is it? Yeah, All right, let's have a look. It's about 11 o'clock. Our sunrise is at 6 30, so it's pretty much up and high there. Uh, we are at the beautiful Karo Karo Beach with lots of surfers and Awesome, we have our nice blue sky and a beautiful ocean back after months of bushfires. So today we are going to talk about Godox lights to come back with sun. Here's the thing, everybody wants to shoot at the golden hours, but as a professional photographers or sometimes we are travelers, it's very hard to, to, to go there waiting for sunsets. This is where the flash comes to help, because with flash, you can get a bit wiggle zone. Does it make sense? You can uh, you can lead up to her face even in the midday. Well, I have V1 on my hand. This is 8200 with round head, and this is 8400 there. With each one of those, you can get away with some nice shot. Rather than saying you know you can you can only do with 8400 and stuff like those, I will give you different solutions. So you if you have V1. Um, there are some solutions there. You can get away maybe with half body shots, uh, which we, we are going to try. And with 8200, you can get a bit more. Uh, and 8400, you can get, of course, a bit more, right? Uh, rather than traditional one light, we're going to experiment a bit difference between if you set up one light and set up two lights. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something from there. If you have any questions, leave your comments below or subscribe and drop me a message. To, I will be glad to answer any of your questions there. So here's my Might team. He's going to be my lighting assistant of the day. He's going to help me out with those gorgeous lights. Um, so if it's good photo, it's all his credit. I, t I just t click the shutters. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just showing up, click the shutters. That's it. Um, Here's our beautiful model, Blake Lively from Gossip Girls. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. So introduce yourself, maybe? Um, hi guys, I'm Ellie. Um, I'm an Australian model and you can find me at Ellie Thorpe underscore AUS. Awesome, let's get started. I always start to shoot the natural lights to expose for the ambient uh, that way. And I don't have to worry about uh, uh, the model at the moment because obviously later on we can use the flash to lit her up. So I attached an AKR1 a dome to further diffuse the light. Gorgeous! Chin up a bit, chin up, yep. That's beautiful. Close your eyes first. Close your eyes. So with your leg, just break your balance a bit. Even that's not showing, that would change your, your, your phone. Yeah. That's good. One, two, three, look into the camera. Open your arm a bit. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Uh, so I'm considering the light direction here. I'm trying to put the light up and high to mimic where uh, where the sun is, and uh, even it's backlit, right? It still gives uh, feels almost like um, the sun is bouncing off the light. There's a significant amount of light for off her lower body. Rather than move the light further away. Uh, we will use clamshell light, uh, which we've done in previous episodes, to give her a beauty look. Yep. Guys, this is S2 type bracket, fits V1, 8200 Pro and 8400 Pro. When I say one, two, three, look into the camera, one, two, three. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that's really good. And face towards me a bit, chin up.
Guys, here I used the AD200 Pro to replace V1. They are both round head. Um, the only difference is V1 is about 72 watts and AD200 Pro is 200 watts. So uh, AD200 Pro is about three times the power of V1, which allows you to place the lights further away from the model and still get a shot. So in this case, I can easily place the lights further away from the model to have a full body shot. And um, I didn't have to use uh, the full power. I think I only used half power here. One, two, three, go! I think we can get away with the one light. Let's see if that works. All right. Just drop it up a bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's great. Smile. Ching up, ching up. Towards Ting. You see guys, uh, the recycling time is uh, way faster. All right, so guys, what I'm holding here is Goldox AD-S65S. So it's a, it's a softbox, foldable one, slash beauty dish, okay? Uh, you guys, if you watch my previous tutorials, I use this quite a lot. It's Quite handy, foldable, easy to carry around, speed setup. If you see here, it's silver reflector or gold reflector, depends on what you want. Because this is midday, um, I'm just going to use silver reflector, okay? All right, so that's it, see? Nice and easy. It's that one, yeah. Let's give it a go, yeah? Maybe just doing something like that, even. Let's just extend to full so that you don't have to work us that hard, maybe just like that. I'll be, I got it, yeah. I got it. Awesome. Pairing with the standard reflector, the silver uh, softbox actually increased the output by half a stop. Um, it's too contrasty for my taste. That's why I put on the uh, diffuser uh, to give a more natural and soft look. So after one light setup with one 8400 Pro, we decide to add in another 8400 Pro to have a clamshell setup uh, so that you guys can compare the 8400 Pro with softbox comparing with 8200 Pro or V1 to see which type of setup better suits your need. With 8400, you have lots of leeway. You can shoot full body easily. Um, see, I'm at a quarter. It's even too bright. So I'm going to one out of eight plus 0.3. Let's go. Open your, open your, um, that's gorgeous. Your right hand keep on brushing your hair. Chin up, yeah, two chin up.
Beautiful. Try to open your uh, uh, left arm. Yeah, that's it. Gorgeous. You see with the 8400, it's almost too powerful. Like you can do lots of things with it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the shoots. You can see that with V1, um, you can lead up almost like with one V1, you can have a close up, that's no issue. Uh, if you can combine two V1, even better, you can have a half body. So with 8200, if you want this more beauty shots look, uh, then you can have two 8200 um, set up for, um, for the full body shots to bring out the contrast of the skin tones. Right? And with 8400, you can, do, you can do whatever you want. That's why I didn't uh, even uh, take out 8600. So with 8400, you can easily have full body shots. You can have that in a landscape as well as portrait. With 28400, then you can do a beauty shot. And I have also shown you the 8400 with a collapsible beauty dish by itself with diffusers. So you can, uh, you can have uh, more control of contrast and softness. Some people prefer the, the, um, the harsh light, some people prefer the soft light. So 8400, uh, you would be able to get some choices. Depends on what you like. That's it for my video and I hope you guys enjoy it. This is Iris Tom from Sydney, Australia. I'll see you until next video.